Right, lads. We are back with Poe and Monroe. I don't know what I actually forgot the name of the game. It, it's something Poe and Monroe. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. We completed the first episode. We are now on to the second episode. We're going to get straight into it. It, uh, it looks to be really surreal. From the preview we saw last episode, it is there's rabbits walking about. Remind me of Donnie Darko. There's some naked bitches in the bath. Oh, yeah. And there's just... Oh, they're going to be in bed as well. This episode's going to be in bed. I love being in bed. Come on, hit me with it. I want more surreal action. I love how high def that is. Created by two people, that's pretty Dark impressive. Nights. With Poe and Monroe. In bed. Our funding's running out, isn't it? Months ago. Poe! How are we still here? My rainy day savings. You can't use that. That's for you and your family. No, you're right. Think of it as a, as a loan. Okay, well... How do we pay it back? We send a seed of hope out to Lady August, and she blossoms it into fruitful returns. Or we could have a fundraiser. Yes, a radiothon. I'm thinking a 24-hour sponsored broadcast. We could call it... In Pornhub Pornhub Live. With Poe and Monroe. Pornhub Live, definitely. Do it. You think people will pay us to sleep together in bed for 24 hours? I would. Oh, silly. You're not allowed to sleep. This episode is going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Did we really need that camera? Oh, yes, shit. Yes, you did. It's proof that we stayed here for 24 hours. Do you know what it is? Sorry, I've just paused it there, right? <laughs> just, to, just to let you know, I'm an absolutely massive pervert, right? And I love the fact that we can just see this lass's legs. Like, what the fuck? I'm a voyeur. I'm a connoisseur of the lady's legs. <laughs> oh shit, what are we doing? Click on the titties. The station shuts down. I don't know what I'll do. Everything will be fine, Alice. I've set up our donation pages and the amounts are already rolling in. How much do we have? Fifteen. Hundred? No, £15. Alright. The fawn. Wow. You weren't kidding. I don't mean to get your hopes up, but um, that was my donation. <laughs> you donated £15 yourself? People do it all the time. It's not cheating. I want us to stick around too. Thanks, Paul. Me too. Here we go. Welcome back, listeners. That was The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. We're now halfway through the show, and it's time to take your calls. Hmm. But it's going to be Frankie again. I can't see any callers. Is it working properly, Paul? It is the witching hour. Maybe everyone's gone to bed. They'll all be wanking, man. We're totally alone. Oh, we could have lurkers. Ah, oh, that's near good. Get back out on the top of the covers. What do you mean, lurkers? The creepers. Lurk, but never join in. They're probably out there right now. You mean listeners, right? Lurkers, if you're out there just lurking, then give us a sign. It touched me! 
What did you hell? Do, Alice? Something in the bed. It was probably just my foot. You're not under the covers, Paul. Hmm, strange. Nothing there. There was. Oh shit, I don't like mirrors. Oh, if we see something in that mirror, I want to I cry. Well, thank you, Lurkers. We couldn't get scared without you. Indeed. Oh, did you see my tactic work to treat? Oh my god, I'm so good at this game, right? I don't even know what the goal of the game is, right? But I'm already amazing at it. I chose the covers so she would get back on top of the covers. <laughs> yes! I'm getting a very strong sense of deja vu. What about you, Monroe? If you mean, have I ever been in bed with someone expecting greatness and then been sorely disappointed, then... All the time. Yeah, I'm getting deja vu. It's that positive attitude that brings all the donors to the yard. Speaking <laughs> of, dear residents of August, please keep donating. Whatever you can afford, let us keep making radio for you. There. We've got 15 minutes. What shall we do? Oh, we need to do all the dirty Definitely. stuff. What? Of course. This, this guy, this guy, this guy, right here. This guy is a killer. He's probably going to lock her in the basement. I can just tell, right, because the sexual tension is so intense. She's been a cock tease. She knows what she's doing. He's clamming for it. That's why he suggested it to a radio station in bed, right? And he's not getting his way. That's the face of a person that's about to do nasty, horrible, dirty things. Just watch. Just watch. Freshen up, go back in, be a queen. The fuck? Be a tired hallucinating queen. Oh, I don't like it. I'm getting shivers down the... What? What's that? Was that a vibrator? Oh, oh she's putting a... Eyeliner on. Is it eyeliner? I think so. I've always, I've, this always makes me uncomfortable. Like watching someone put eyeliner on. Like, what if that thing goes in your eye? Damn. Makes a difference. He's gone, and he. Monroe, I need you to put this on. Go on then. Well, he looks. What? Something's wrong with him. Has he been possessed? I'll fall over if I put it on now. Sit on the bed then. What is, I don't even know what it is. I thought it was some I sexy lingerie. It's, it's a, a it's a blindfold. I think our listeners will enjoy it. I hope I enjoy it. I don't know if I should be playing this game. I haven't a wank yet. I haven't decided. <laughs> what am I doing? What should I be doing? Now what? I'm going to put something in your hand and you've got to guess what it is. Oh, that old chestnut. This guy. This guy is like... Everyone, every, every bloke out there should model their fucking attitude and persona on this guy because he's just a fucking hero. Yes, I'm going to put something in your hand and you've got to guess what it is. But before you guess what it is, just move it backwards and forwards until I tell you to stop, yeah. Not this game again. But you're so good at it. Are we live? Um, yes. Okay, then. Go for it. What the f... There's something not right here. I'm sorry, Alice. Put some pressure on it. Can you take the blindfold off, please? Just a second. Almost done. What the f- Shut up. What did I do wrong? There. We've got 15 minutes. What shall we do? <gasps> oh, she you dreamt it. It's only been 12 hours. 12 hours? Yes. You look like you've seen a ghost. 
I had a nightmare. Dreams and nightmares with Poe and Monroe. No. It was real. Are you okay? Do you want to stop? I'm fine. Sleep deprivation, it can play tricks with the mind. Yeah. I guess. So, 15 minutes. I need the bathroom. No, you don't. Don't Again? go. Don't go. Again? He, he did mention deja vu, didn't he? Maybe. She... Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tap. She doesn't love you. Look. Who are you? You know who I am. It's Millicent. Look at the necklace. What's on her necklace? <laughs> Millie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, Millie. Millie. Uh, Millie, what are you doing here? Don't play games with me, Edgar. <laughs> Edgar? I'm not Edgar. Fine, Poe, have it your way. But what did you bring her for? The girl? Alice, she's... You need to leave. Leave? Leave. I died here, remember, waiting for you. Oh, no way. Sorry, my love. I've just waited so long for this moment, for this day. Right, hold on. Do you think this guy is a serial killer? Ah, I've got a funny feeling this guy might. Because he did say he was married. We know he's married. We know that the, the, the ginger lass is his mistress his bit on the side i think he murders him i think this guy's a murderer so there is this supernatural element or is this just this guy having a dream bad dreams just Nope. 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 E exactly. Nope. Exactly. The she See, me and her think the same. If I turn around so fucking outside of me bathroom, I'll just be like, nope. Nope. That ain't me, son. Um. Oh, we need to... Fuck it, we're going outside. We're going outside. We need to see what's outside. Come on. Billy Big Bollocks it. A balls of steel. Oh. So you think I'm Edgar Allan Poe? You are, and I'm Millie, remember? Edgar Allan Poe's a, a writer, isn't he? Sure. Well, let me remind you. Take the hand. Okay, remind It'll me. It'll be a bad decision, this. Oh, yes. We are weak to the flesh. Just stay, mate. <laughs> mate, why are you looking like that? Get in there with that now. Just get in. Why Quick. are we here? To remind you of your promise. What promise? In this very room, you told me we'd be together for eternity. Oh, I shit. I don't remember. You told me eternity, if I did what you asked. Which was? No. Oh. I'd never do that. Puff would never do that. Murderer. Oh. That is not good. I've possibly gotten both of these people killed, do you think? We need to save her, I'm not too bothered about the bloke, like. Actually, I do like the. I think the guy is class. 
Oh, nah. Donny Darko. Oh, it is him. Oh, thank God. Where are we? What's happening? It's not Paul, though. Oh. What are you doing with that? Run, run, run. <laughs> Bitch, stop running. Oh, there. no. We've got 15 minutes. What shall we do? <gasps> I can't believe you did that. What? Come with me. Where? We've got 15 minutes. Come with me. All right. Where are we going, missus? <laughs> Poe? Are you really Poe? Cause, Governor. What's the jig? Poe. We're dead. I bet you we're already dead. Or not. Po? Monroe? Who is she? That's your question. <laughs> yes, that's a bit strange, Alice. Perhaps should have led with, um, why are we tied up? Well, I thought maybe you could ask that. A lover's tip, Edgar. This new one not up to snuff. What's she talking about? I think what she's talking about there is. I don't think he is Edgar Allan Poe, but his name is Poe, unless. It is Edgar Allan Poe. And he creates snuff films with young, impressionable girls. And that's why he tells them to hurt themselves. Ooh, I wouldn't put it past him. He looks a bit. Looks a bit rapey like. She thinks I'm the real Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, I thought so. Well, you are named after him. I'm not a Poe. I'm Poe. What's the plan, Poe? Get out. Right, let's do her hands. Because she's got skinny wrists, she should be able to get out there easier. Oh. That was easy. What shall we do about him? Do his hands. Untie him. This is probably a mistake, I think. She knows. I don't know whether to trust her or not. I can't trust anyone. Where are we now, Paul? Does it matter? No. Everything is full of stuff. And the stars are full of people. And the people are full of stars. And we're all within each other. And we've always known. What's that sound, Paul? Don't be alarmed. It's beeping. It's just an alarm. Oh, Paul, you silly bunny. <laughs> this is it's so trippy. Heart monitor? Was that fire carbon monoxide alarm? Shit. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <gasps> We're gonna die on stream. Door, get the door. You're not going to be able to drag him outside. Open the windows, everything. Always save yourself first because you can always get help. Instead of having everybody die. 
Oh, no way. It's strange, him not being here. I feel silly talking to myself. If he was here, he'd say, The show must go on, Monroe. Tell them what happened. Listeners, if you're squeamish, take a five-minute coffee break. Now. For the rest of you, last week Poe and I were poisoned by carbon monoxide gases. A poor bird got stuck in our central heating flue and sadly passed away. There is no good news, but thanks to the insurance and the builder's negligence, our station is now fully funded. Huh. I'm not a selfish girl. Everything I do is for the good of others. But it always leaves me alone. Oh, I see the cycle. I never killed those birds. I never fed those birds. I never put bird food in the flu. <laughs> How I have been deceived. And I didn't kill Poe either. The doctor says he'll be fine. They just need to keep him in for a few more days' observation before they can let him out. Go and visit him. Oh, listeners, one more thing. Radio August is my home now. And I'll do anything to protect it. Is he dead or not? He's not dead, is he? He's just in the hospital. Or maybe it's a success. Is that it? This time on Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. Yeah, I really like this. It's yesterday in the August update, you said that Joe Watts had gone missing. He'd gone to a friend's house after school and hadn't come back. So what are you saying? We worked the case ourselves. You be good cop, and I'll be bad cop. Yes, I'd like to report a kidnapping, please. What are we supposed to do? I don't have to keep between the dots. I just see the final picture. Dark Knights. With Poe and Monroe. <laughs> he has to. I'm still, I'm still confused. I'm not even going to try and pretend that I know what's going on. Like, are these episodes even linked? Or is each episode like its own short story? Well, no, they are linked. Because in the first episode, it was talked about how they had no funding. And then this one was how they had no funding but now they've got funding but how in the next episode do they end up becoming private detectives i guess we're going to find out right so let's look at the the choices is anybody there you made pause phone ring ah okay so we could have made his phone ring but we got her out of bed which i'm happy with you chose the lipstick you chose the eyeliner you chose to touch millicent or millie you chose to use Poe's phone. I, I'd really like the. F I probably am going to play through this game again once I finish the first playthrough because I want to know if these choices make any difference. And most of the time there is only two choices, so I don't think there's going to be that many different outcomes. You avoided the door. You pulled away from Millicent's hand. You chose to untie Poe. You chose to. Un uh, yeah, uh, un untie Monroe. You left Poe sleeping. You woke up Poe. Well, to prepare, my choices seem to have gotten us fun, and so I think uh, I think we can call that success. Very nice. Okay, lads, we'll call it an episode there. Episode three up next. See you there, lads.